Welcome back to part two of my Ethereum deployment video series to the Robson test network. Now we're going to get into the nitty gritty and the code for deploying the, your your contract. And I have sample code and I'm actually going to post it on YouTube so it's for you to download and you can use it as a template or whatever. Now for us to actually deploy the contract we're gonna use something called middleware and our middleware is gonna be Infura. So Infura is basically an API that allows us to deploy our contracts through them and this makes it easier for us because then we don't I don't have to have a video where I download the whole blockchain to the to the machine and you'd have to do that if you wanted to do it by downloading a node on your machine and again that's that's another way to go you can also do that and that's that's no problem at all the first thing you need to do is actually go into infura.io up here and you're gonna get started for free and you're gonna fill out all this information to get your API key so what they're going to do is they're going to send you an email and they're going to list the API key and the links for you to access for all the networks that you want to deploy to. Which is pretty cool because you can actually don't necessarily have to deploy to Robson. You can deploy to the other networks listed here such as Coven, Rinkaby, even the main network through their API. I have my own key and I've downloaded it already and I'm not going to share it with you <laughs> but I will show you the code on how this is going to get done. Now what we want to do is we actually want to look at our command line prompt and what I've done here is I've taken my project called hello world and I put it on their the hello world folder so you'll have this you'll have this uh, on on the YouTube link now if you want to create a test project using truffle you can always make a directory called test then you see the on test and then you can say truffle init and that will create a test project for you but I've already done that for you so you can use mine. So basically Truffle is a compiler that you can use. A couple things that I want you to notice is if I say Truffle compile, that should compile my contracts. But watch what happens. So you sh some of you are going to probably get this error. I'm going to guarantee you that you're going to get this error when you try and compile. The problem with that, this error is that you have a JavaScript file with the same name as your compiler. So you can either do th two, one of two things. You can take this and rename it or go into your npm folder under Ethereum. I'm sorry, on the users, your username, so this is my username for this computer, then app data, roaming, and npm. You make a copy of the Windows command script file and rename it to something else. So I named it Truffle Plus. And in doing that, then I can now, I can use Truffle Plus compile. and that will compile my hello world contract now before we even compile we actually need to add a network to our truffle.js file so what I've done is under hello world this is my truffle.js file and these are the things that you need to actually do. First, you're going to declare the HD wallet provider and say require that. This is your variable for the API key that you 
get sent by Infura. Make sure that you put in the API key here. And this mnemonic is a mnemonic from your MetaMask. What you're going to do is on MetaMask, you're going to connect to the Robson network. And once you log in, you should have a couple of the mnemonic for your login for MetaMask. And this is mine. So what I would do is I would take this, copy it, and I would replace it with that. And save that. The other thing you need to do on this file is we added the Robson network. So you can add many networks here. It doesn't necessarily have to be Robson. I can add the B and all those other, and the main network, obviously. But remember, you have to connect to a node. You have to connect to a node. So if, if I was connecting locally, then I would make this a local host and whatever port my local node is running. But since I'm connect, connecting through a provider, then I can use I can instantiate the HD wallet provider, pass in my mnemonic variable that comes from MetaMask, and then pass in the URL from Infura that they provide me through the email to connect to their Robson test node API and pass in my key. Pass in my key. Once I do that then I would I am ready to actually deploy this to the test network the other thing to notice is I put a network ID 3 and I was testing a couple of gas values because I was running out of gas when I was trying to deploy this okay so when my file have this in there so you can use it now the other thing we need to do is we need ether and in order for us to get ether from the Robson network is we have to click on buy and we have to go to the Robson test faucet and what we're gonna do is we're gonna request one ether from the faucet uh, it seems that it says uh, padding let's try this okay so I don't have ether yet not sure why. Bad gateway. This is interesting. I haven't seen this error before. Okay. So I just had a refresh and it was fine. So once I clicked on request one ether. I got a transaction. So if I click on that transaction, that actually goes to the Robson public network. Uh, and it seems that it's still not doing anything. So we actually have to wait to get some ether. So let me pause the video until it actually creates the block and see if I get some ether. So I'll pause the video. All right, so I was able to get some ether after requesting it clicking on this button here. So if I look at my account, now I requested it from the test faucet, I have three ethers, three ethereums on the test network. Now, since I have that, and I have my API key, then I actually want to compile this and deploy it. And that's what I want to do. And for us to do that, it's very, very simple. Okay, now we're back on this command line. I'm going to compile again because I updated it with the real key. And then I will deploy to the Robson network by saying truffle plus migrate network Robson. And I'm hoping that this does work. If not, we're gonna have to troubleshoot it together. Be my, me myself, but I'm, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that this does work. So let's see what happens. 
network up to date. That's e. That's interesting. Let me just see here. Okay, so live action here. So what did I have to do? Uh, one of the things that I didn't realize is that Truffle will keep track of changes of your contract and it keeps it under this build folder under contracts. So what I had to do is I just had to delete the JSON files <coughs> out of this directory and I actually brought in another contract called Professor which I wrote uh, real quick Oops, I showed you my uh, my key <laughs> uh, and I was trying to change the code here for just so so that truffle sees that there is a change but that wasn't working so I just created another contract called professor uh, and this actually also got deployed to the Robson blockchain and in me doing that so I really didn't need to do that I just had to clear out the build folder so when you build your contract using truffle there'll be files here generated so all you have to do is just delete these files and then compile it again uh, and then see if it works so now the migration did not work so it seems that uh, I could not find artifacts Hello world. Okay. So let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so that did it. So this is what I did. I actually, if you go to the contracts, keep the hello world. So when you download this project, keep the hello world as is. Don't touch it. What you're going to do is when you go to hello world, problem is I had this contract in my other machine so it was already built so what you have to do is go under build contracts and delete these files once you delete those files you're gonna compile it again as I did up here so I said truffle plus compile should compile again and then do truffle plus migrate network Robson and once you do that that will officially deploy your it's gonna take a while it's gonna officially deploy your contract out to the Robson network and how do you know that well you can grab this address here right after the hello world and we can actually go into the ether scan here and we can search by the address and if you see something come up like this then that means that you successfully created your contract and it says contract creation and you click on here this is the hash transaction and this is the contract information if I look back 75 so 75 this is the contract address and it says from so who who actually deployed this 6a so if we look at our MetaMask that's my address that's my contract address I mean that's my account address so 6AE blah 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 and you notice that my ether went down so it charged me some money to actually deploy the contract alright so next video will not be part 3 but I'm gonna do a video on how to actually call our hello world contract and I'm actually gonna try and create another contract not hello world we're gonna create another contract call it from our current contract on the Robson network and then we'll also build a front end where we can call the Robson network and call our functions from the Robson network hope you had fun I hope that this has helped you tremendously because I it I was pulling my hair out on trying to get this deployed to a test network if you have any questions always leave a comment on my YouTube video please subscribe to my channel press like the only way I can keep going is if you press like and subscribe to my channel and I can put up more videos on Ethereum thanks a lot parttimeadjunct.com Alex Louie always email me at parttimeadjunct at gmail.com thanks I'll see you next video